much contact with Mr. William Fitzgerald of uh, the State Department uh, for Africa. Mr. Gerald, uh, when we got cut off, I was asking you about the suspension of aid by the U.S. in particular to Mali. What is the aim of that suspension and will it not compromise the soldiers' ability to thwart the Tuareg rebellion and al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, the su suspension of aid, of course, follows uh, suit with uh, the rest of the international community. Basically, uh, this mutiny is completely unacceptable, and it has to be reversed immediately, bringing the constitutional order back to the country of Mali. Mali has had a rich and a uh, relatively long tradition of democracy. Uh, for more than 21 years, we were headed to elections in just a couple of months, and then all of a sudden, this Captain Sonago uh, decides that he wants to take over. Mm -hmm. That's unacceptable. Now, getting to the source of what brought this mutiny about and then the eventual coup, the Tuareg community, which has been very vocal and very active in the north, calling for autonomy of Azawad and then also saying that they are really neglected. How much do you think attention should be given to that source of complaint, uh, which I guess is trickling down to what we are seeing now in Mali? Well, we have great faith in the Algerian government to be able to negotiate, as they had in the past, the, uh, the uprisings and the conflicts in the north between the Tuaregs and the central government. Uh, I think that there are, uh, certainly the Tuaregs have uh, uh, legitimate complaints, but this should be solved across a negotiating table. This shouldn't be solved on the battlefield. ECOWAS, as we mentioned earlier, is meeting in Abidjan today. What would the U.S. role be in that discussion, if any, at all? Well, to be honest with you, ECOWAS is meeting in a closed session today. Uh, they will issue a declaration at the end, but we have, uh, we have lined up behind, as we have in previous crises in West Africa, on Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea in particular, We've lined up and coordinate very closely with the African Union, with ECOWAS, and with uh, regional players who have a, uh, obviously a great stake in stability in, in neighboring Mali. Moving, moving on to Senegal, before you go, um, the U.S. has congratulated Macky Sall on his victory and also applauded uh, Mr. Abdullahi Ward for conceding um, so easily to, to Sunday's uh, vote. What is your expectation of the U.S.'s relationship with, uh, Mr. with Mr. Sall going forth? Well, I can tell you straightforward that our relationship with Senegal is excellent and has been excellent. I think that our relationship will continue to be very close with uh, uh, president, uh, the, the incoming president, Macky Sall. Uh, I do want to applaud uh, uh, the former president, Abdullahi Wad. I think his, uh, we're grateful that uh, he conceded as quickly as he did and he allowed, and his legacy is, is ensured that he allowed a peaceful transition to, uh, to another party and uh, another president. But ultimately, I think we should applaud the Senegalese people. Okay. Who, Mr. Fitzgerald, we really appreciate your time. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you. And that's our thanks to William Fitzgerald, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary, Bureau of African Affairs, and he joined us from the State Department here on In Focus.